wrapping up another high school football game of the week from Elisa and Miguel High School. Final score here tonight, the Wolverines 22, Saddleback Valley Christian Warriors 14. And hello everyone, I'm Garth Wyckoff along with the coach Bill Kennedy and Vince Ferragamo and welcome to our Cox3.com post game show. Gentlemen, pretty good game. We saw some talented quarterback play here tonight. We saw some wonderful special teams. And for two teams preparing themselves for league play coming up next week, I thought we had ourselves a very competitive football game. We did, and I think, uh, you know, Saddleback Valley Christian suited up 26 football players. Uh, Aliso has some big, big offensive and defensive linemen. So, um, very much from a standpoint of David versus Goliath, I think that the Warriors did a great job tonight. Uh, 14 points against a, a team six divisions higher than they are, and they didn't pay any attention to that. It went out and just played their hearts out. For Aliso, they showed a great power running game, a very aggressive defense, and remember this is the last of the non-league games, so next week it's for real. All right, well, Vinny, we'll take a look at some of these highlights here from the first half, and uh, they got things started here defensively, the Warriors did. This is a pick six right back to the house, Vinny. Well, yeah, this was a, a great job by the Warriors coming up with this defensive uh, touchdown, a pick six, and uh, that put them on the board for the first score. Yeah, Loman, and you got to like Nick Chapman. Check out the arm here. This is a 26-yard corner route to Ian Robinson that tied the score seven all, and then he comes right back. Coach, what do you think about this throw? Well. I think uh, he did a tremendous job tonight showing how to throw the deep ball. Great trajectory, trajectory, another big gain that set up this touchdown run. Cole Thomas there from four yards out, it's 14 to seven. And then on fourth and one, this is Anthony Ace, Ace Ventura. Ventura. Yeah. He's tiptoeing down the sideline, 22 to seven. They get the two point conversion. This is Castellanos here with a 35 yard return. And we saw special teams all night by the Warriors. They did an excellent job with that. And uh, this kind of this guy, Ryan Souza, another solid effort by him running the football. Tough injury to see him go yeah, down. You could really tell the team really take off when he got into the lineup with his power running, and that really opened everything up. And another great comeback from behind touchdown by the Warriors. And then that was uh, Caleb Ward uh, get a nice pass there from uh, Jeff Markham to make a nice score there at the end of final score at 22 to 14. So they fought hard. The Warriors, they come in here, small school division out of the San Joaquin League, but I think that there'll be battle tests and be better off for it moving forward when league play begins. Well, next week is a big week. It starts league play. That's how you get to the playoffs. I think tonight, uh, Kurt Wessling talked about this at the very beginning. They wanted to get out of this game, both teams, without any more injuries. Both of them are kind of banged up, and I think they accomplished that. And I think they put on a great show tonight, and uh, I think both teams are ready to go for league play. You got to like those quarterbacks, Vinny. We saw a sophomore and a junior, and they can really throw the football. You saw a developing sophomore quarterback, Lisa Miguel and Chapman, and he's really coming on strong. He's maturing every day and every week, and I think he's going to give his team a good run down the line, and especially in the next couple of years, he's going to be a big threat. All right, well, that's going to wrap things up here for our Cox3.com post-game show. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, final score here tonight, Aliso Niguel, 22, Saddleback Valley Christian, 14. We'll see you next time.